say hello. Hello, Wolves. Hello, Wolves. No. Get on here. We're sleeping. You were sleeping. Oh, such a good girl. <laughs> hey. You good? You good? <sighs> Welcome in a new vlog. Okay, so I'm just gonna start it here. I'm so comfy here. So I got back from work. I cooked food, whatever. And now I'm cuddling with Mooney. <laughs> uh, I have an unboxing to show you. And I got my Geek Gear box. So I will be filming this week that unboxing. And... Oh, uh, my vlog from past weeks just went up. Oh, abs working so yeah I have a package here I want to unbox with you let me go on the floor because I love being on the floor let me put you on the table whatever Ooh. and when he's over there e okay that's a cool angle so yeah I ordered a color from Iroquois so you can uh, check her um, Instagram so she's making color for dogs uh, she also created something new recently and also this one is actually a personalized one so Muni will be the only one to have that one and so we're gonna see what's inside uh, so she designed uh, the necklace, I mean the necklace, the color, she just uh, drew it, etc. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. Hey Mooney, devine un peu ton collier est unique. It says here, hey Mooney, guess your color is unique. It's in French. Oh Mooney, what is it? You know it's for you. So it's written here and actually this is a color but I'm gonna show you a little like sample of it. So as you can see this is a Hufflepuff color so with the Hufflepuff crest you have the badger and you have a wolf. Where are they? So here for instance there is a wolf and there is a badger and this is a color like this and she put yellow in it because it's very half a puffy. I really, really, really do love it. It's very nice quality. And let's put it on Mooney. Mooney, come here. <gasps> Look what mommy has for you. Come here. See Eddie? Good crap. She has another one for me, Rockwa, but this one needs to be washed. Can you focus? Yeah, here. It's a beautiful one as well. So let's just try. Mooney, come back. Oh, her name is written here. See? Wait. Wait, Mooney. Oh. So Mooney is written here. Wait, Mooney, come here. You're so beautiful. <laughs> you like it? You like it? Is it good on you? Cannot see it. <laughs> oh, in this there is something else in it. What's in there? Is that a tree? See it? Is that a tree? Yeah. She got you a treat. Oh. What's that? She's also making some candies. I mean treats. You don't like it? I probably she's not a fan of the cookie. <laughs> but Mooney is a bit special for that. So now I can wash the other one. But this one is actually longer. What, you want that one as well? You cannot have them all, Mooney. Hey. Oh, that's the sound. Okay. Give me that one. She's very uh, comfortable when she's not wearing her a color or the bandana 
I don't know if it's because she's like a rescue or and now she's gonna hide until I put her stuff back she really doesn't like it yeah she looks weird okay I'm gonna hurry up Mooney okay just trying to keep the tag on the color she's actually wearing because in case she's running away she has that Yay. yeah you happy now yeah you happy hmm? yeah you don't want to treat yeah you really don't like it <laughs> yeah, yeah, good girl. It's okay. You're gonna keep it now, okay? I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna take it anymore. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, good girl. Yeah, good girl. I know. You okay? Hey, it's okay. It's okay. I didn't mean that. I got your unique color because you're unique. You know that? Yeah, you know that. I didn't mean to scare you. You might be you. I'm not going anywhere. You're staying with me. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm full of hair. Never mind. Um, so I'm actually watching something on Netflix. Oops. Oh, the camera is flashing. Uh, I've been watching that show for a few episodes now. I think I'm on episode 6. The name is Hemlock Grove, which is kind of horror, do I think, fantasy, I want to say, with werewolves and Upi. I think Upi is actually some kind of empire. I'm not sure. But yeah, is anyone else watching that? Because... I don't know, I would be curious to know what you think about it. And also yesterday I started uh, Song of Sorrow by Melinda Salisbury, which is actually State of Sorrow sequel. So it's so far so good, I'm on page 50. And I started In an Absent Dream today because I finished uh, Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shannon Maguire. Yeah, the We Were Children series. But yeah, okay, so I'm going to clean the little mess I made here and I will relax and do that and talk to you later, Wolves. Yeah. Hello, Wolves. So, um, it's the morning for one, so I'm going to go to work now. But I just wanted to say that I saw an unboxing of the Fairy Loot uh, May box, the one that I skipped before I decided to unsubscribe from them. And actually, I don't like any item. I mean any items like nothing from that box so i'm so happy that i just like don't regret it kind of thing so yeah that's cool but <laughs> i didn't subscribe from boxes to get other boxes like i just got i mean i just um bought the june old crate one which will be my first old craze ever because there is some um uh, how do you call that library stand or whatever you know for the books that will be inspired by uh, Narnia the Chronicles of Narnia so of course I had to get it and I think we will get one in the June one and one in the July one but to be honest I don't mind having just one so I will see with the book if the book sounds interesting for um july or whatever the one for june is one that i was planning on getting and so i'm gonna get a special cover so that's cool and oh kitties there are kitties playing there i don't know if you will be able to see there is a black one and another one never mind uh, also, I would like to uh, get the Wicked Creatures, the June box, and also I would like to try a new Harry Potter box. So, these boxes were on top of the rest with the subscriptions. So, I feel kind of guilty, but I kind of want them, and especially because I didn't um, buy anything for myself. Like, I need stuff, but I keep 
pushing it, like pushing the buying process kind of thing. So, yeah. And people are watching me, which is so weird. I, I think I would never get used to that. Like, people watching me because I'm actually talking to a camera or whatever. But never mind. So, yeah, I will get a few boxes, but no worries. I will do them all in the vlog because I really love that chill vibes. Or I will do them all in one video. Could be fun, like, to do... um. A double, triple, quadruple, whatever unboxing. But yeah, but okay. I'm gonna go to work and I will talk to you later, Wolves. Bye. Oh my gosh. Will the camera stay there? No, it doesn't want to stay there. Like, I'm trying to put my camera on. I'm destroying my car. Please stand there. Why don't you want to stand there? Please do. Oh, now it's gonna stand. Oh, I found the way. But Wolves, just finished work. It's so freaking hot. <sighs> I just got back from FNAC. FNAC is actually a bookstore, but also a place where you can find laptops, etc. Oh my gosh, I'm all sweaty, disgusting. And I went there because I've been waiting for a package for over a week now. They're super late, which is usually not the case. Because my mom asked me to uh, buy for her two books. The two first books in the uh, Mortal Instruments series, so the Shadow Hunters. I haven't read it, but the day she told me, I watched the show. I loved it so much, and I was like, "What?" Uh, but yeah, so I bought her the books, but they're not there. So I got her something else, and also she asked me, "Oh, but maybe could you check if they have the Darkest Minds?" So I bought her uh, book one and uh, book two. I haven't read that series yet, but I'm planning on um, one day when I will have time because I there is a show coming, right? Or oh, the show is already up. I don't know, but I had in mind that I wanted to watch it before the show comes up, which is apparently not going to be the case. Uh, the same for another thing, which was it? Um... Oh, there is another show like this. Good Omens. Yeah, I haven't... Um, read Good Omens, but I want to do it before watching the show. And like, the Chronicles of Shannara. Shannara, yeah, I think something like that. And there are tons of stuff I wanted to read before watching, but apparently that's never going to be the case. But never mind. I bought her also three other books books that I've read and really loved. So first, this one. This is uh, by Heather, Heather Fawcett. So you might recognize the cover. This is actually even the darkest star. So a pop fantasy that I've read for the Politan, organized by Jade over at Jade Ray Reads. And I really loved it. So I found it in French, just the first one. The second one is apparently not in French already. I mean, yet? I don't think so. Let me just check. Oh yeah, it's gonna... Uh, the second one's gonna be published in March 2020. So that one. Then I got her the Wicked Deep, which is super interesting actually, is that before the covers in French were absolutely different from uh, the UK one or the American one or whatever. And now they're starting to do it like to follow what the British people or British or American designer, whatever, draw, drew, drew, cover-wise, you know what I mean? And even here, the title is in English, but I swear, here it's written in French and the book is in French. So uh, it's so interesting and I'm so, like, down for that. Like, that's amazing. Uh, that's a good move, French speaker people. And also, uh, the other one, also same cover. Sadie by Courtney Summers, a book that I got in an unplugged book box um, and loved it and same same cover, same title and same everything I guess. Yeah, obviously they're not gonna change the format of the book, you know what I mean? But yeah, so I wanted to buy every single book for her and each book were like 20 euros, which is Normal, actually, for books here, 20 euros for a book. Yeah, I think. I never got anything cheaper, like the mass market format of it. 
that maybe uh, very old books on sales maybe but i'm so happy that i got that one for my mom because now it's gonna get hot like it is already hot as you can see from my face but it's gonna be even more disgusting um so we all need some fresh vibes so snowy settings just to cool down so i'm so happy about that one and i'm happy about the wicked deep especially because she is a netflix addict so she's gonna like the show as well especially if she's is reading the book before and then she watched the show or if she watched it and then she will already have the book doesn't make any sense what i'm saying but you used to that was and sadie because it is so beautiful it's a beautiful story i really loved it and um she's not into audiobooks i think she never tried them she's kind of scared because she doesn't actually have the time to listen to them like she works five minutes from home and she doesn't travel much, you know, by car, so she doesn't need that audiobook help kind of thing. And she's also always watching Netflix when she's doing something, like laundry or whatever. So, um, yeah, so she doesn't want that. But I love that it's a super floppy paperback. Oh yeah, in Belgium, we, I mean, French books are not... No, they never hardcover, actually, hardback. We don't have that. We have that in very, very old books, but that's it. That's not something like regular, normal here, whatever. But I'm, I'm positively like happy that she asked me for that book because, yeah, my mom is in YA fantasy. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So I hope she's gonna like them all. I'm pretty sure she will. Like, she loves Akotar by Sarah Jamar, so a Court of Thorns and Roses, whatever. I bought her the series. I was like, okay, mom, I haven't read that one, but you're gonna like it. And she was like, okay, okay, we'll see because you haven't read it and blah, blah, blah. And then she forgot about it. She forgot about the fact that I haven't read it and about the fact that she had it on the shelves. And one day she started it and she was like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. And she read the second one and the third one and then she was oh my God, this is so good. And then she started to talk to me and to say spoilers about the book. And I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And she said, what did you think about it? I'm like, I haven't read that series. She said, but you recommended it to me. Yeah, because I'm that good. I know what you like. and yeah and i have a nice community so they told me that it was good for that that kind of people and if you love that that you probably will love that and blah, blah blah but never mind yeah long story short she loves uh my recommendation most of the time she never told me she didn't like one book actually i think she told me like twice like it was a long time ago like a few years seven eight years ago that she didn't really understand the style of the author but she was like yeah i don't understand what he's trying to do and i'm like he's trying to make you travel you know escapism but never mind okay my car is a little colder now you know with fresh 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 hair so i think i'm gonna leave and go home mm. I wanted to film my gear unboxing, but it's actually already late, so I'm not gonna do that. I will not do that tomorrow because I'm gonna get my nails done. And so maybe Thursday, and probably Friday, actually Friday night, Saturday morning. Oh, I don't know, but tonight's gonna be. No, I don't wanna. No, I'm gonna try. Maybe tomorrow if I get home super early and then go get my nails done. I will see about it. But yeah. I'm gonna leave you here, wolves, and I will maybe update you tonight or tomorrow. Love you, wolves! Hello, wolves! I just filmed a video. As you can see, all the lights, I mean the candles, were on, lighted, yeah, maybe. Um, so I just, I couldn't wait longer and I unboxed my geek gear. Um, so yeah, we'll try to edit that tonight so it's up for tomorrow. But still, no pressure, I'm not sure about that. And also because I would like to read Song of Sorrow by Melinda Salisbury. Because I'm curious and I want to finish it. Oh, I really love that kind of vibe. Hmm. 
But yeah, I'm gonna leave you now and clean the mess I made. I really, really got amazing items in that box. I'm not gonna show you that right now. You're gonna see it before this vlog, but never mind. Maybe you are, you will still be waiting yours. I don't know. But I'm gonna clean the mess and um, drink tea, drink something, and I will talk to you later. Am I on focus? I don't know. No mind. Talk to you later, Wolves. Hello, Wolves. I'm exhausted, and it's only Thursday. Like tomorrow, it's gonna be the last day. I mean, then the weekend, and Monday is a holiday. So good. I have a book here. So yeah. Besides that, I don't know what to tell you. Like I'm almost done with my um, listening to White Card by Mary Lou. So the sequel to War Cross. I'm enjoying it so far, it's okay. I'm not as into it as I was in the first book. I feel like it's well done, it's really well written and I love the voice because the voice is like, it goes with that kind of books. And I really enjoyed it, And but I don't know, I don't have the same addiction to it or the same relation with it. And I'm also reading a Song of Sorrow so I'm currently on page 100 and I'm really really enjoying it. I really love that because it's not like high fantasy, you don't have magic, you have some kind of power in it, but it's more about politics and you know those kind of shenanigans or whatever. I, I really love it. But yeah, book depository, I'm gonna show you the book I got. And yee! Oh, I love the feeling with that cover. Okay, so we got love books. We're on the same page. <laughs> like a little journal or whatever. Like this month I've read author, blah, blah, blah. So that's cool. So I got The Kingdom by Jess Rothenberg. Um, I really love it. Like it's very soft, silky. And then here it's plasticky, like regular cover. It's 3D over here. I really love it. It's a sci-fi, obviously, but apparently it's some kind of retelling of Cinderella or some kind of... Not Cinderella, but like Disney kind of vibes because um, apparently everything has to be has to be perfect kind of thing. You know, ever... What do you say? Happily ever after. And apparently the happily ever after is caused... It's like thanks to robots or whatever. Here is um, the blurb, summary, whatever. But apparently it is a story of people going to, um, how do you call that, like a park, a theme park or whatever. And uh, you have some like extinct animals and blah, 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 castles and blah, 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 prints, I guess. I don't know. And... Um, some people live there, we call them the fantasists, seven beautiful android hybrid princesses whose sole purpose is to make dreams come true. And apparently something is gonna go wrong with the one because she's gonna actually have feelings or whatever. Yeah, but when she meets Owen, Anna begins to experience emotions behind her programming, including for the first time love. So that's not okay. And apparently Owen's gonna go missing and presumed dead and she's accused of Owen's murder, whatever. It really sounds it's only interesting, what is different from what I've read. And it says at the end, uh, often shocking tale of love, lies and the frightening truths that fuel our wildest fantasies. So yeah, I'm intrigued actually and I love the cover. Oh, that's a nice color. I love that color. Very, not slithery, but almost. But yeah. So yeah. We are beautiful. We are kind. We never raise our voices. We always aim to please. We never say no unless you want us to. Your happiness is our happiness. Your wish is our command. So yeah. I want to read it. I want to read it. And... Yeah, I don't know what else to say. And I'm happy when I have like, this is so ridiculous, but my books are 
on my shelves, you know, by alphabetical order. And this one is an R, so it's gonna be at the end because I have so many A, B, C, D, E, or whatever, D, B, like everything here. And I have tons of books there. And here, the last name is Duncan. So imagine. Never mind. That's not the point here. But yeah, I got that book. And I'm like, I really wanna read it, but I have so many books. Oh my gosh. <sighs> but yeah. I'm doing good so far, so that's okay. Uh, I also ordered another book, which is a sequel to Onyx and Ivory. It's something and flame, shame and flame, soul and flame. By mean the internet. Yeah, you will see when I get it. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna take a shower. Uh, go eat something, watch Netflix, and maybe read a little bit. I'm just exhausted. And yeah, nothing else exciting was. So, hope you're good, and I will uh, catch up with you later. Well, this is just insane. It's Friday night. I did update you yesterday. I did not. I don't know. I don't remember. But I got an arc. Uh, from Netgalley and the publisher. <laughs> I forgot the name. I'm such a bad person. Wait, I just I downloaded it like immediately yesterday. Um, it sounds uh, really amazing. I had it on my. Um, it's by Kokoma, if I remember. Well, yeah, Shadow Frost by Kokoma. So I will put a picture over there on my head. You can tell I haven't been sleeping well. Um, but never mind, that's not the point here. Yeah, I just wanted to um, tell you that I wanted to do something. I had a crazy idea today and I don't know if it's going to be possible to do it. But guess what? I'm going to try. So it's going to be a mess in my room. Uh, we will see. Uh, that, if that succeeds, it will be in another vlog just dedicated to that if that goes bad you're gonna know in this vlog that it was a total nightmare so yeah but otherwise the plan for the weekend is doing that secret project kind of thing and reading i would like to finish um song of sorrow and i would like to start and finish shadow frost especially because monday is a holiday here so I don't know if it's anywhere else, but here it is and <laughs> I would like to read them. But yeah, okay, so uh, I'm gonna do try that thing. Hello camera. Uh, I'm gonna do try whatever. I don't know. I'm scared because if I start and it works, it's gonna be cool. But if I start and I, it fails, it's gonna be a nightmare. But yeah. Talk to you later, Wolves. Okay, Wolves. So I just finished uh, my room makeover, whatever. So many changes, so many whatever. But it's gonna be in another vlog just dedicated to that. And also short footage from Ikea, whatever. And here you can see that my baby fire trap, fire trap, fly trap got a friend over here. But yeah, I changed so many stuff. So uh, now, finally, after 24 hours on of working on that, I'm gonna finally relax and I'm gonna try to edit that thing because I want that thing out because I want you, your opinion on it. I'm super proud of myself. Like, I, I'm seriously super proud of myself. So yeah, and I'm orange and red and whatever. Hello, never mind. But yeah, so I'm gonna do that now. And I'm exhausted. I will talk to you tomorrow or maybe later tonight if I have something to tell you. Um, yeah, I was planning on filming this weekend, like it was an option, but it's not gonna be an option. It's gonna be for next week because I'm exhausted. But yeah, wolves. Talk to you later, I guess. <laughs> Hello all, so I'm here to wrap up that vlog. So I didn't do much uh, because this morning 
I mean yesterday night I started to have like a small headache that turned into a strong headache but still not a migraine so that's okay I still feel the pain now but that's okay I just like I'm exhausted actually and yesterday and Friday night like I really pushed myself um, with that room makeover whatever and then I really wanted to uh, finish the vlog I mean the video editing blah blah, blah and uh, to upload it etc you know the jump and I really pushed myself maybe a bit too much and my body told me that uh -uh. <laughs> cannot do more so that's okay but I'm still super 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 happy uh, about the result I will put I mean I will link the video up there if you wanna check it out I tried a new song and I tried a new way of editing I spit it up a lot of stuff um, and yeah I, I really enjoyed the result so expect to see a different background in my future videos and also in my vlogs I mean videos are regular videos and then you have vlog never mind you, you know what I meant um, but yeah I still have a few videos um, waiting to be edited and uploaded so you're gonna still see a few videos of the old uh, background kind of thing um, but that's okay uh, I will not refilm the videos because it happened to me a few times when when I changed like a few details on my shelves or whatever I was like okay I had to refilm that video because I don't want that background it's not gonna match on my channel fuck that <laughs> you're gonna see uh, old backgrounds and new backgrounds all at the same time I just yeah I wanna stay genuine as much as possible you know myself and whatever so I cannot just fake a reaction, reaction, reaction twice because I cannot just fake a reaction or whatever so or you know what I mean like when I'm being spontaneous or whatever but it's not what I wanted to talk about I didn't read much of Song of Sorrow I'm currently on page uh, 138 I really love that because I really love reading about the politics and the way this word works but also that sometimes you no I, I I cannot say that because this is actually a sequel and it doesn't really happen in the first book but still like sometimes you can sacrifice yourself for the good you know for your people etc and sometimes you tend to push the right people people who should stay with you and um, but I really love the concept of it I love everything about that book so I think the first book so State of Sorrow was a book I got in my first uh, fairy loot ever and it was in March 2018 so it was their anniversary box as well and I really loved it. I think it was a five stars. Um, so I'm gonna give this one a try. And also I've watched uh, the three episode of Black Mirror. And um, what can I say? Can you really give an opinion on that? Like the one with obviously Miley Cyrus. Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. Never mind. Um, it's really, I think it was perfect for her because it really happened to her from what I've read, what she said in interviews and whatever. So it was like, when I say really happened to her, like the concept of, uh, you know what I mean? Like what happened to her, not all details of the... If you've watched the episode, you will know what I'm trying to say. So it was okay. Then... Uh, Oh, I forgot where it was. Oh, yeah. Then one was just what the fuck. I didn't... and I didn't really see the point of it. But I still get it. And then the first one was what the fuck. But what the fuck in a way like... Oh, shit. This could actually happen. And this is so weird. And I wish it will never happen to me. Because this is so weird. So... 
that's that and also i finished the first season of hemlock grove 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 it's like a mix of werewolves um creatures i don't know where they are uh then some kind of hunters and then you have some upir who apparently are similar to vampires but they are not vampires because they are not allergic to light or whatever but they still have some kind of power that vampires have and blah 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 it's a weird show and at the beginning i was kind of like intrigued and whatever and then i just finished season f first season one and i have two more seasons to watch and i'm just like the last few episodes like I think the two last episodes, or uh, three last episodes, I was like, what the fuck? This is just like, it doesn't make any sense. He dies, he leaves, he dies, he leaves, you know, that kind of stuff. And it was just so weird. It was like, what's the point of that show? What's the point of the story? Because I thought uh, that it was actually the end of the show. And then I saw that there was a second season and then a third season. I was like, what? What's gonna happen in the next season? Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, it's... I don't know, but... Yeah. I don't know. It was interesting. It's still good, like, if you wanna... Watch something without watching it. You know, when you're sometimes cooking or cleaning or whatever, reading or... Yeah, you can read and watch Netflix at the same time, believe me. Or, you know, do what the heck you want. So, yeah, and I think that's it. Maybe I watched something else. I don't know. Let me check. So I watched Hemlock Grove, A Groove, Black Mirror. I finished Code Geese. I don't know if I told you that. Uh, that's a manga. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I've been watching the past few days, couple of weeks. Something like that. So, yeah. So now I'm going to try to finish State of Sorrow and then maybe start Shadow Frost uh, by Kokuma uh, so the book I got um, um, from NetGalley and yeah, that's pretty much it I think Sorry for the background noise but I was like too lazy to go close the door I mean the window and because it's hot I mean it's not hot today it's like not hot today um, like it's 18 apparently now celsius but it's like a rainy rainy that was a weird sound rainy uh weather so oh 17 yay uh, a 115 maximum but yeah so that's pretty much it i don't think i'm gonna try to edit the vlog uh today i'm gonna do that tomorrow just because i gave all my energy for the room makeover video so i will not do that tonight i just want to read so i'm gonna read song of sorrow and maybe continue with hemlock grove 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 i think it's grove there is only one oh grove never mind um yeah and i'm gonna drink my coffee that's all for today and today is father's day uh so yeah we didn't do much just because my dad is not someone who loves to do tons of stuff but he got gifts so that's nice um but yeah really nothing nothing else i feel like there is a guy i mean a guy someone named uh, clorox bleach that's leaving very stupid comments on everyone's videos and uh, it's like so much fun to watch i mean to see the comments because it's really stupid so yeah i've seen a couple no not a couple i've seen so many uh tweets about that today so that's interesting um for once i know what's happening on booktube i mean on one part of the booktube usually i don't know anything like i don't know shit about stuff but apparently uh, i saw about that bleach guy whatever but yeah well so i'm gonna leave you here because it doesn't make any sense and of course there is a plane when i have to say goodbye
bye bye plane and whoops i really hope you will enjoy this vlog because i think this one was very 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 chill because i didn't do much thank you so much for watching this vlog i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to be a part of the pack talk to me in the comment section you know how much i love talking to you and don't forget that i'm also very active on bookstagram and apparently book twitter as well but yeah Love you all. Talk to you very soon. Take care.